there has been one GoPro accessory that I've recommended more than any other accessory. I think whether you buy a GoPro or an Osmo Action or a 360 camera, there's one accessory that you should buy and it's the GoPro three-way grip. But today, today it has a challenger. There's a challenger that we're gonna see if it can dethrone the GoPro grip, the three-way grip that I take on every single adventure that we do as my main grip. Can, can this challenger dethrone this? Real quick though, hit that like button, think about subscribing to this channel, and comment below at the end of this video, let me know if you think I should stick with the three-way grip or, or this challenger that I'm about to show you. Okay, so the three-way grip has been my go-to grip, and, and the reason is that it's, it's convenient. It's not that it's the best at what it does, but it's convenient. It can go from being just a really compact handle with my, my GoPro on top, Hang on. So it can go from just being a GoPro handle like this, and then I can undo this knob, undo this knob, and then boom, it turns into it turns into a pole. So now I can now we can do this as we walk around. And then also it has it has kind of a tripod in in the bottom. You actually unscrew the bottom, and this little tripod pops out. You screw it back in, and then you do this, and then it has a very small little tripod right there and your GoPro can stand up. But this thing has one fatal flaw that, that has really irked me for a very long time, and that's that it sinks. Every time I'm in the water with this thing, I am holding it with a death grip because if I let it go, it sinks. We went to Hawaii and I went and swam in La Perouse Bay with the dolphins. It was a killer video, the most amazing day, but I, I swam out there with this thing. I was swimming, I was swimming like this, and I was swimming, 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 and I'm looking down, and it's gotta be like 75 feet, maybe? And all I could think to myself was, oh my gosh, I still have like two days of GoPro footage from our previous days on this camera. I have not backed them up, and if I drop this GoPro right now, it's all gone. I don't just lose the grip, I lose my GoPro, and more importantly, I lose my footage. Needless to say, when I came back in from that little swim with the dolphins, my my hand was exhausted from just, oh, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. <laughs> so I, of course, picked up the floaty grip. So now when we go travel, I have a floaty bobber grip and I have this thing, but it seems like every time I'm in the water anyways, I end up with this thing and I'm, I'm holding it like a death grip. So how how could we combine these two together. Well, in comes New Grip. New Grip. This is the New Grip by by New Bear. It is a floating extendable grip and tripod and and potentially the replacement for this. And their Indiegogo campaign for the New Grip actually starts today. They are a husband wife team out of the UK. It was super cool. I actually got to talk with them on the phone and hear kind of about how they designed it and why they made the choices that they did, which was super fun. And just from hearing some of that in their thought process of what they were doing with it, I was, I was super impressed. So they sent me one, I got it, and I already went and played in the pool with it. And here it is. This is the actual grip itself, and I'm gonna, I'll get a GoPro mounted to it so you can check it out. All right, check that thing out. Look at that. So right off the bat, you can tell it, it floats. It's a, it's a big handle. It looks, it looks similarly large in size to, you know, a floaty bobber grip. And as far as grip size, you can see it's a bit longer than the three-way grip. So it's a, it's a little bit more of a grip, but one weird thing with this grip is that you, you're gripping kind of two things. You're not just holding the handle when you walk around with this in grip form. You've got to kind of grab that front bit also. And this is just all grip. So I went in the pool yesterday. I tested it out. It works great. I went, dove way deep down, let it go. The thing just went and rocketed to the surface. And when it does that, it does it upside down. So this, this reddish orange bit is sticking out of the water. So if you were like, wakeboarding or surfing or something like that and you dropped it and it went in the water it would it would sit up like this so you can spot it but then you say but david this one it extends it gets so big but this guy you twist the top and then and look at that boom extension no weird stupid hinges it just you just twist it and 
Boom, locked back in. Now it's long. Now it's just a grip. Now it's extended. <laughs> that is a way better way to do that than this, this, I gotta undo the hinges. I gotta make it long and then re-tighten these. That's silly when we could just do this. Ha, huh, that's so much better. So the super rapid deployment of, of going from grip to extension, I really like that, I'm a big fan. And then, and then again we say, oh, but the, but the three-way grip, it has, it has this nifty little tripod. Isn't that so nifty? This whole grip becomes a tripod, the whole thing. Boom, tripod. And the tripod, see, it's a little tiny triangle, but on this one, big triangle, which means this thing can take more, and this thing, it just falls over. And of course, you can do, you can do this in extended mode as well. Extended tripod mode. I think the three-way grip gets, it gets a tiny bit taller. But unfortunately, because it's taller, it makes it even more top-heavy, and that little tiny triangle on the bottom now, now it's, now it's really wibbly wobbly. But again, I've, I've kind of put up with all of that with this three-way mount, because it was, it was the only option. But now, now that we have the new grip, uh, I don't see why I would reach for the three-way mount when this can do everything that the three-way mount does, but better. And I haven't even gotten to my favorite part of this yet because when I first saw their their product I was like well that's cool like that's a cool idea a grip that also has an extension on it I think I've seen that before but then the fact that the grip became a tripod I was like well that's really cool also but then they showed me something that 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 really got me excited and I was super pumped to test out and I, I tried it yesterday and the concept is basically this this when it's extended like this, and in the water, because it floats, it's now an upside down underwater tripod. So you can float this thing in the water, it's just gonna sit like this and float, and then you could go and swim and do things in front of it, and it's, it's gonna film you. An underwater, upside down tripod. <laughs> and it works! I took it to the pool yesterday, and one of the coolest shots that I've ever gotten on my GoPro is one of Eleanor's first times actually swimming through the water a little bit. We've been we've been just working on her with like actually swimming like three feet to the wall. She'll she'll kind of whoop and swim out, and she kind of gets to the step and just pulls herself out of the water. And she's doing great. She's only one, so not bad. But yesterday I was taking this and I was putting it upside down in the water next to us, floating in the water like that. And then I had her and I went, blip, there you go, bub. And she swam past the camera. And this shot it, because it's an upside down tripod in the water. And from that footage alone, uh, I was sold. I was like, damn, if I can get that with this, I've never been able to get that with this, obviously, because this just sinks. This floats, I've never been able to do this with this, because this just, it like bobs around. It's literally called the bobber. But because those three feet are extended, it gives it actually some stability. Now, granted, if the water's like crazy choppy, it's still gonna bob around like that. But if the water's decently smooth, it it actually sits pretty well. And you you can then get some super dope underwater shots of yourself. And then of course I tested it in in just holding mode, handle mode underwater, and that's that's decent, but the extended mode is really where it's at. If you put it in extended mode, like that, and you're swimming underwater, I think you get the best shot of yourself. Like that's what you would use it for most. And then maybe if there was something really cool, let me like a cool little thing you were gonna swim past or a bunch of fish or something, you set it up like that, you put it upside down underwater tripod mode, and then go swimming in front of it and get cool shots of yourself. <laughs> I don't know how much it is. Hang on. All right, you can pick it up on Indiegogo for for cheaper than the three-way mount. I think it's around $50. It was in pounds and I had to figure out British pounds. They're from the UK. But one super cool thing about them that I'm really stoked on is that they didn't do the whole, we have an idea and we're going to Indiegogo. They actually went to China. They have their manufacturing set up. As soon as the Indiegogo is complete, they will begin manufacturing and start shipping these things out. So you're not, you're not waiting around for the six months and never getting one of these things. This is super dope. This is, 
This is a pre-production model and it's already, I don't really know what they would change on. Oh, they did tell me that they're gonna change the GoPro mount piece on this one is plastic. Feels great anyways, but they said that they're gonna make that metal. I think it's aluminum. They're probably gonna make that bit aluminum. But other than that, guys, this is my new handle, 100%. This is, this is what you'll see us traveling around with and that'll, that'll be our new handle. I, I don't think I'm gonna be using our three-way mount anymore. If I was to make any changes to this, I, I one would include a high torque thumb screw with it. So you guys know that I like these go pole high torque thumb screws, but any sort of like torqued thumb screw, because these, the one that comes with it right now is like the normal GoPro one. And I really don't like the normal GoPro thumb screw. So if you do buy this, I would recommend replacing this thumb screw immediately with a high torque because when you're in the water and it's wet, you, you need that extra grip. You don't want to rely on your grip with your fingers, like ee, trying to squeeze. You want that just big, big torquey thumb screw to uh, be able to tighten and untighten this thing. Yeah, this is probably the setup that you'll see us walking around town with, going in the water with. This is it. Yeah, this beats the three-way for sure. And it's cheaper. I'm gonna try this out at Lake Powell. We're going to Lake Powell in like a month and this will for sure come with us and we'll give it a little shot out there. Let me know what you guys think though. I'm, I'm curious as to your thoughts. I know a bunch of you have gotten the three-way mounts. Let me know if anyone, any of you have lost your GoPro because of the three-way mount, because again, it does not float. It sinks quite quite quickly actually. If you let this thing go, it, it sinks into the abyss. What do you guys think? Three-way mount by GoPro, uh, $70 I think, or new grip that does everything that this does but better for like $50, I think. Again, it's in British pounds on Indiegogo, but go on there and I think you'll figure it out. Super curious to hear what you guys think. I'm I'm pumped. This one's a pre-production again, but I'll be I'll still be using it because it feels production. I don't know what pre-production is about this thing, but that's that feels ready to go. Damn, that is super impressive. I love clever people. Real quick though, hit that like button. Ow! Oh, oh, right in the funny bone.